What's going on? This is Pedram and I'm coming to you from PedramTV.com and today in this video I want to talk about is it possible to start an online business while you are in a full-time job and you are working like 38, 40, 50 hours per week in your current job. So is it possible to do that? And my answer to that question would be yes, absolutely you can. Maybe you cannot work on your online business as much as you would love to work on like maybe five, six hours a day or eight hours a day, just like I am doing right now. But that does not mean you cannot start an online business working just one to two hours per day. And it's absolutely possible. It's just a matter of working on the right things at the right time. Now, I won't say it, and it's probably not going to be easy. You're probably coming from, coming home from work, you're really tired, you probably want to watch TV, you probably want to go to the gym, have some, have, have some workout, do some workout, and you probably have no energy or you don't really are keen to get started and work on your online business. But me and you both know it, that if we want to succeed in our online business and if we want to do something, bigger than ourselves and go out there and really give back to the community, we're going to have to do the work even when we do not feel like to do the work. So that means extra work. Right now, you're probably saying, okay, I cannot quit my job. I cannot quit my job because I need my job to be able to have the income, to be able to spend those money in my bills. I understand that. I understand that you have you have bills to pay and you have things you need to do. But sometimes in life, it's all about priority. It's what's more important to you. And imagine what? The enemy of great is good. So if you are willing, if you are somebody who is okay with living good, you, you are, have a job, you are comfortable, you, are, you have a car, you have a house, you, you, everything seems to be okay, everything seems to be working out well. But guess what? That is the enemy of being great. Because you're comfortable, you are not willing to risk it. You are not willing to do something that's a bit more riskier. And it's, a, it, and it's, it's something that's going to challenge you and puts you outside of your comfort zone. And it is hard. I understand that. It is hard to be able to do something that is unknown and risky. So that is one thing. And another thing is you're just going to have to, if you are someone that does not want to quit your job, you're just going to have to work hard, extra hard. Keep your job for now. At one point, you know when it's time to quit. And, and I highly recommend people who want to succeed in whatever it is that they want to do uh, to quit and burn the bridge behind them. Because as Tony Robbins says, if you want to take the island, burn the boat. Because if you have only one option, which is A, option A, you are not going to, you are going to make sure you reach that goal and reach that potential goal. And you're not going to take option B because when you have option B, you are not going full strength on option A. But then again, uh, it's not one size fit all. Maybe for now you keep your job. You know best what to do. And maybe you are in a situation where you need to keep your job. But make the right decision. Follow your heart, follow your instinct. Make sure that you are, Doing the right, making the right decision. If, if for example, your heart says you need to quit your job and you need to pursue your dreams and the opportunity arises, go and do it. Listen to your heart, follow your guts, and, and even though it's going to be uncomfortable, follow your heart. So, let's get into the online business. Okay, so look, it's uh, a lot of people spend, spend so much time, waste so much energy on the things that does not matter. And guess what? Even for someone that is works eight hours a day for an average person, or even sometimes I do it, we are not productive in our online business. We are not having a productive eight hours a day working on the right task at the right time. We, we usually tend to waste a lot of time and do a lot of things that does not matter. So why do I say that? It's Look, it's no good being just being busy. The key here is to being productive, is to ask yourself what kind of a task specifically going to move me towards my goals, towards my dream. And if you only have one to two hours per day to work on your online business, just 
work on the right things. People on average, on average, the best CEOs only have like, I think like uh, two to four hours of productive time in the, in the time they are spent in the office. The rest is answering phone calls, emails, all of that things that are nonsense and is not really moving the business forward. So if you're someone that is busy and having a job right now, you have a job, you work full time, two hours is fine, it's enough. You can do more than enough in that two hours. Just make sure that in that particular two hours, you're working on the right task. Don't just be busy. Ask yourself, what are the tasks that's going to move me forward to my goals, to my dreams, or what are the tasks that's going to help me achieve my online business goals and then only work on those tasks. Do not work on various different things just so that you can be busy. Work on the right tasks. It's important to work on the right tasks. And that leaves with, it doesn't really need to work eight hours a day in your online business to actually get stuff done. Get stuff done. Just working two hours per day but being productive is the key. So right now, keep your job. Uh, I'm assuming you are probably doing eight hours, nine hours a day in your job. Make sure either before or after your job, make sure you get your two hours in, in starting online business and keep your job. And while you have your job, start an online business. And then as soon as you can earn a living uh, working on your business part time, but earning a living of full time, you can maybe quit your job. Or at one point, maybe you say, okay, I'm on track to do this much by the next few months and already have some saving, I can now feel safe to quit my job and start my online business full time. So it's your call in the day is following your gut, is looking at what is the right decision for me to make and go out there and make my dreams a reality. So absolutely is possible to work only two hours in your online business considering the fact that working on the right things, asking yourself what are the most productive things I can do today to move my online business forward and go to the next level and only working on those things. If you are wasting time on the things that are not going to move you forward, then guess what? You better off not doing anything and just stay at your job. It's critical to work on the right task at the right time and make sure that, uh, make sure that is done. So it's absolutely possible to start an online business while you're still at the job. It's just going to be harder. You just have to push it a little bit more. You have to go on a soldier mode and you have to grind on and you got to do the right thing at the right time. So I hope really that answers that question. A lot of people want to know if, if you can start an online business in your spare time or while you're in a full-time job. So leave me a comment below. Tell me your biggest takeaway. Tell me why you want to start an online business or share me with me your thoughts, your opinion. Maybe you like me to make a future video and I will uh, be glad to read those comments and get back to you and make a future video. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, share this video and then if you're looking for more online training on how to get started online using what's called affiliate marketing and that is selling other people's product and services, I'll leave a link in the description of this video where you can click on that link and sign up for the upcoming webinar where I reveal my steps to start and grow an online business from scratch. So the link will be in the description. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video. Until next time, another video. Take care.